you know, when I first started in the field, a patient older than about 60 would not be considered for a liver transplant. Well, um, we've transplanted a number of patients now in their 70s, as old as 75. Our results, now, now these are very carefully selected patients. They have to be in very good health other than their liver problem. But our results in, in these patients have been excellent. And what's happened is the techniques have been perfected over time. The anesthesia has been improved. The medications that are used to support patients, the immunosuppression has all improved. So that our results, uh, the procedures themselves have become much more streamlined and the results have improved dramatically. So, you know, now uh, standard first time transplant in an uncomplicated patient is typically four or five hour operation. The majority of patients, almost uh, three quarters, are back to their full time activities within two to three months of a transplant. So these are patients who are quite ill before their transplant who are back to work, back to you know whatever their baseline activities were if they weren't working uh, within two or three months. I mean, there are lots of other areas where interventions, treatments make a dramatic difference but nowhere any more dramatically than in liver transplantation. Liver transplantation, even among solid organ transplants, has the most dramatic change from being the most debilitated patient group to the most recovered. So um, that uh, makes the job really enjoyable.